Hey, welcome to 3D Games and Trigonometry. If you've never made a 3D game before and you want to learn some trigonometry, then you're in the right place. In this first video, we're going to set up the 3D game making tool called Unity 3D. And we're going to get a basic game ready so that you'll be able to then watch any of the other trigonometry videos in the, the playlist. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your favorite search engine and do a search for Unity 3D. And just the first hit, download or the game engine. So this site may change, but basically you want to just download, choose your download. There's a free personal edition, so do that free download. There's a Windows and Mac, and you're going to want to download that installer. Now the whole download is like a gigabyte or two, so it might take some time, but then you'll want to run the install and that may take like a half an hour or so. When you run Unity the first time, you'll have to uh, check personal edition or free edition or whatever, then uh, accept the terms and you need to create an account. If you're a minor or you're worried about privacy, just write your whatever name random address uh, but you do need a good email to log in the first time finally when you launch you'll see this but no no projects on the left and you'll click new project uh, i guess just name it trigonometry or whatever trigonometry um, i'm going to put mine on the desktop but you can choose wherever and do create project so here's our empty game uh, because this is less about programming and more about trigonometry, I've made some scripts and you can download them in the video description. So here's that zip. Um, so scripts, they're really just text files and they tell the game what to do. So if you open this up, you want to bring this folder onto your desktop or extract it and go in here. And then you're just going to want to select all four and click and drag them into Unity. And bring that back up. Layouts default just fixes that. So we have these four so you don't have to write them now. Now we just need a floor and the player and we can get started. So game object, 3D object, plane. This will be our floor. On the top right here, put it at position 0, 0, 0. And we're going to stretch it on the x-axis eight times, so eight times bigger. And on z, it'll be eight times bigger. And it's all white, so I'm going to make it grassy. So you're going to want to do assets, import package, environment. And there's a lot of stuff here, so actually click none on the bottom left. Select none. And then scroll down and find... And these, surface textures, import. When that's done, in assets, on the bottom left, double click standard assets, environment, that, that, sand. So click and drag sand onto the screen here to make the floor sandy. Now I just need a player. So game object, create empty. This is what we'll move around and look through. On the top right, rename it to player, enter. Add component, FPS, enter. This is what's going to move around the player with the keyboard. Add component, mouse look, enter. This will make the mouse move the camera. The camera right now, so here's our, I'm using the mouse scroll wheel. Here's our player and here's our camera. They're not attached, so when the player moves, we won't see anything. It'll stay in the same spot. So on the top left, you need to click and drag. So click, hold, click, let go onto player. Now they're attached, but we need to put the camera inside the player. So click on camera. On the top right, position zero, zero, zero. Now the camera is in our player and we're almost good to go. But click player, we're appearing inside the floor, so we're going to fall through the floor. So raise it up a bit, or on the top right, put it at y equals 2. And now we can press play. Okay, so here's the 3D game. Uh, if you press WASD, you can move around. If you press space, you can jump, and the mouse will look around. 
you want, you can click maximize on play up here. It'll be bigger. Um, so now you're ready to look at the other vid any other videos in the trigonometry playlist. Uh, but you will want to save this level, actually. So press play, file, save scene as. Just type scene one, save. Because you can have different levels, you know, this is our floor now, but in the other videos I'll be making new scenes and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so have a look at those videos and I hope you enjoy them.